have you ever felt like you were stuck in a situation in your life? Like you just couldn't get out of the situation. There was no way it was overwhelming and you just didn't know what to do. Well, if you have, you're going to want to watch this video as I break down the steps that you can take today to start getting unstuck in your life. For me, I know it was really challenging, especially when I was in a marriage that did not fulfill me and was very toxic. And when I left the Amish culture and also when I was getting ready to leave my corporate job, I felt stuck in those situations. I also felt stuck in the times where I knew I wasn't doing what was lighting me up, and but I didn't know how to change these situations. And so this is why I have created this video is for those that are feeling stuck in any situation in their life. I'm Emily and I'm here to inspire you and empower you to make the impact that you want to have in your life. Before we get into this video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And we're just going to dive right into the content today on getting unstuck in your life. The very first thing that you need to understand is you are never stuck. These are just the things that we are actually telling ourselves. We get overwhelmed. We feel like we're just stuck in the same situation because we can't pull ourselves out of it. But the truth is we are actually in this situation overcoming obstacles. This is part of our growth as humans. And I know you're probably thinking, well, this is crazy. Like, I don't want to learn this lesson, but there's a reason for it. There's always a reason for it. And when it comes to getting unstuck in life, we see from our perspective, like we're in this problem, right? So we see these things as like, there's this huge problem. We can't figure it out. We can't solve it. So we just feel stuck. So we can't keep telling ourselves over and over, you know, I'm just stuck. We might say it to our friends. We're constantly thinking, if only I could pull out of this and not be stuck. This is really the biggest piece is the mindset with it. And we're going to hit on it in the video as in the rest of this video as well. But the unstuck, you have to understand you're not stuck and I'm going to break it down. So step one, number one is going to be understand where you are at right now. Where are you currently at? If you are currently in a job, for example, that you don't like, understand that this job is not fulfilling you or whatever it is that you're feeling stuck about. Okay. The next step is where do you want to be at? So if you don't want to be at this job, where do you want to be at? What position do you want? Get crystal, crystal clear on what position you want. How much do you want to be paid? Like all these things. And if it's not a career and it's starting a business or, or having a different relationship, get very clear on these steps. And this will help you understand where you want to be at. And while you're doing this exercise, make sure that you're not limiting yourself and playing small because we are really, really good at that. Uh, playing small of like, if I just have this, then I'll be fine. No, we're done. We don't need to do that anymore. We're, we don't need to play small anymore. So make sure you don't limit yourself in this process of, of telling yourself where you really want to be at. And it's important you write this down because when you write it down, it becomes real, right? If you just think it, you can't really process it. But if you write it down, then it becomes a little bit more real. And then the next step is asking yourself, what can you do right now? In this moment, what can you do in your situation? What are some of the action steps? And how can you start taking action towards that? Inaction will hold people in the same place forever, right? If we don't take action to change the situation, you're going to stay there forever. And there's also a difference between just taking tons of action and actually taking aligned action that feels good to us. Because some actions that feel good to me may not feel good to you. So you have to understand that difference. Just like other people's opinions of what I should be doing is not always going to line up to my opinions of what I should be doing. So no one understand that difference of what is it that I need? What is it the action step that I actually need to do? And you already have the answers. You already have those answers inside of you. And then making a plan from there. If you have an action steps and you know you need to do this, put it down, put it in a Google sheet, make a plan and actually start doing it. The accountability, holding yourself accountable is so, so important. And it's interesting because I've seen just in the past where I've worked with clients, their biggest issue is they know what they need to do. They know where they want to go, but they have a hard time with the accountability piece holding themselves accountable. And one of the tips I will tell you that I make all of my clients do 
is actually for their accountability is an accountability check-in. And then the other is putting it in a Google sheet of all the action steps they have to take and breaking it down day by day. So that way you can see it. And you can do this in a Google sheet. You can do it in on phones. Like you can write it on a piece of paper. But the action steps are so important because if you're stuck somewhere and you're not taking action to get out of it, you're going to continue to stay there. That's like the hard reality, right? It's just like saying, I want to lose weight, but I'm not going to eat healthy or I'm not going to exercise. I'm just going to magically lose it, right? It doesn't happen that way. That's why you have to have the action steps and you have to be able to hold yourself accountable. If you can't hold yourself accountable and you know you're stuck and you want support, I am taking on new clients. You can go to emilyadams.net and just submit a contact form and I will reach out to you. But if you already know you can hold yourself accountable and you've got it all, then start implementing these things. And also when you create these action steps, another thing you have to understand when you do this, it also allows you to look back as you're progressing forward to your goal of where you're going. You can see, oh, I've taken all these steps, right? And I've taken these steps to get where I need to be at. So I'm making some progress. And that sometimes motivates people to continue going, right? When they can look back. I started you know, here 30 days and now I'm here. So it's just understanding that. And then the, the biggest piece of this is really shifting your mindsets of how you are viewing things. It's all perspective. So if you constantly tell yourself that you are something, you're going to start believing that. If you constantly tell yourself that you are stuck, you're going to keep believing that. So you have to take that completely out of your language, out of your thoughts. Stop saying it. Don't tell it to your friends. Don't tell it to anyone. Don't even tell it to yourself. Every time you hear I'm stuck, you'll be like, actually, no, I'm not stuck. I'm on my way to wherever you're trying to go, right? Reverse that, reprogramming that. If you want to hear more on reprogramming your limiting beliefs, you can go watch the other videos that I've done over this. And if you feel like you're stuck in your identity and you don't know how to get out of it, go watch the video I, I did on creating your own identity because there's this exercise in there that will help you create your own identity because we can shift and change at any point in time. If I don't want to be this, I can be this at any point in time. It's going to take work. It always does, but it's always worth it. So shifting your mindset and your thoughts around this of I'm not stuck, I can actually make this action plan and I can be unstuck, right? And once you start shifting that, the, the mindset and the thoughts and the self-talk is going to be like 50% of the work because we're constantly thinking these thoughts and we have to understand we have to stop thinking that way if we want to get unstuck. So kind of to recap this video back up is one, understand where you are currently at. Two, where do you want to be at? Three, what can you do right now? What are the action steps that you can take right now? Hold yourself accountable to that and then shift your mindsets. That's going to be one of the biggest pieces. And like I said before, if it's something that you are feeling stuck in your life and you want support on and you're ready to work with someone, you can always send me a message via my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram stories a lot. Um, or you can go to my website, emilyadams.net and also fill out a contact form. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you got value out of it. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you would like to see around business, money mindset, um, healing, whatever it is. Let me know what you are interested in seeing. And until next time, make sure that you go out and take some action and create the life that you want to live because life is too short not to be happy and live the life you want to live.